Hey guys, this is Kelly at the Wichita Falls Public Library here for our first teen book talk. The books that I'm going to be talking about are going to be as current as possible. Shipping and receiving are a little bit off, but we hope that they will go back to normal soon. And I apologize in advance for any mispronunciations of names or characters. Our first book is Ray Bear by Jordan E. Fuego. It just came out a few days ago on August 18th, and you can place it on hold if you wish to after this video. It's a book on Afrofuturism and fantasy, and it's great if you love books by the authors Tomi Adiyemi and Saba Tahir. Tara Say has always longed for the warmth of the family. She was raised in isolation by a mysterious, often absent mother known only as the Lady. The Lady sends her to the capital of the global empire of Eritzar to compete with other children to be chosen as one of the Crown Prince's Council of Eleven. If she's picked, she'll be joined with other council members through the Ray, a bond deeper than blood. That closeness is irresistible to Terrace who has always wanted to belong somewhere. But the lady has other ideas, including a magical wish that Terrace is compelled to obey, kill the crown prince once she gains his trust. Terrace won't stand by and become someone's pawn. But if she is strong enough to choose a different path for herself, with extraordinary world building and breathtaking prose written by an incredible new talent, Ray Bearer is the story of loyalty, fate, and the links we're willing to go for the ones we love. Our second novel is actually a graphic novel, Dragon Hoops by Jean Lin Yang. It came out back in March, and it's a well-written sports biography and memoir. Jean Lin Yang understands stories, comic book stories in particular. Big action, bigger thrills, and the hero always wins. But Jean doesn't get sports. As a kid, his friends called him Stick, and every basketball game he played ended in pain. He lost interest in basketball long ago, but at the high school where he now teaches, it's all anyone can talk about. The men's varsity team, the Dragons, is having a phenomenal season that's been decades in the making. Each victory brings them closer to their ultimate goal, the California State Championship. Once Gene meets these young all-stars, he realizes that their story is just as thrilling as anything he's seen on a comic book page. He knows he has to follow this epic to its end. What he doesn't know yet is that this season is not only going to change the dragon's lives, but his own life as well. Next we have Red Hood by Elena K. Arnold. This actually came out back in February, and we have it in playaway and book format. This is a dark, gruesome, and phenomenal book that you will love if you love anything that has fairy tales and folklore. You are alone in the woods, seen only by the unblinking yellow moon. Your hands are empty, you are nearly naked, and the wolf is angry. Since her grandmother became her caretaker when she was four years old, Bizu Martel has lived a quiet life in a little house in Seattle. She's kept mostly to herself, She's been good. But then comes the night of homecoming, when she finds herself running for her life over roots and between trees, a fury of claws and teeth behind her. A wolf attacks, Bizu fights back, a new moon rises, and with it questions. About the blood in Bizu's past and on her hands as she stumbles home, about broken boys and vicious wolves, about girls lost in the woods, frightened, but not alone. Our last book for today is The Gilded Wolves by Roshani Chakshi. This actually came out back in 2019, but I am currently reading it, which is why we're talking about it today. This book is perfect if you like a dark fantasy with some adventure and mystery mixed in. It's 1889, the city is on the cusp of industry and power, and the Exposition Universelle has breathed a new life into the streets and dredged up ancient secrets. Here, no one keeps tabs on dark truths better than treasure hunter and wealthy hotelier, Severin Montagne Allard. 
when the elite, every powerful order of Babel, coerces him to help them on a mission, Severin is offered a treasure that he never imagined, his true inheritance. To hunt down the ancient artifact the order seeks, Severin calls upon a band of unlikely experts, an engineer with the debt to pay, a historian banished from his home, a dancer with a sinister path, and a brother in arms if not blood. Together they will join Severin as he explores the dark glittering heart of Paris. What they find might change the course of history if only they can stay alive. I'm currently reading it to get ready for the sequel, The Silvered Serpents, which comes out on September 22nd. I hope to be able to get the sequel for the library soon. They're each other's fiercest love, greatest danger, and only hope. Severin and his team members might have successfully thwarted the fallen house, but victory came at a terrible cost, one that still haunts all of them. Desperate to make amends, Severin pursues a dangerous lead to find a long-lost artifact rumored to grant its possessor the power of God. Their hunt lures them far from Paris and into the icy heart of Russia, where crystalline ice animals stalk forgotten mansions, broken goddesses carry deadly secrets, and a string of unsolved murders makes the crew question whether an ancient myth is a myth after all. As hidden secrets come to the light and the ghosts of the past catch up to them, the crew will discover new dimensions of themselves, but what they find out may lead them down paths they never imagined. A tale of love and betrayal as the crew risks their lives for one last job. I am giving away the advanced reader's copy or ARC of Raybearer by Jordan E. Fuego. All you have to do is go to this Facebook post and comment on what you're currently reading or the last book that you fell in love with. And I'll see you guys next time.